Hi, it's Mandy, and this is Jasper Majeric. Welcome to our backyard in the month of September. Today, we're dolling Jasper up with the beautiful Mayish Awesome Blossom Ranunculus Dog Collar. Perfect for a wedding, especially during this fall season. Stay tuned to see him look really, really handsome. So the tools you'll need to complete your dog collars is definitely a collar from the dog you'll be working with. This one is Jasper's. It's already pre-lengthened to the perfect length to go around his neck. So what we're gonna do is take the new flat wire from Smithers Oasis. It comes packaged like this in several different sizes. This being the thin, I would recommend this for a small dog. And then this large would be better for a medium to large size dog. We're gonna use the large and you simply just earn a curl. And I would do the exact same length as your dog collar plus about an inch and a half to two inches. So you're simply just gonna measure your flat wire, cut it with a pair of scissors. You're gonna take some needle nose pliers and wrap the ends, just simply curl them in just to get the sharp edge to the inside. You can clamp it down if you'd like, just like so. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Simply just gonna curl it in, give it a little clamp, just like this. So now we're gonna lay it flat out on our table. And we're gonna take the new U-glue strips the roll, the new U-glue roll, and we're simply just going to lay it on top of our flat wire, just like so. Pull it off. Now you've got your adhesive onto your flat wire, and we're going to use these awesome blossom ranunculus in these beautiful colors. So you're simply just going to cut it straight off of your stem where you don't even have any stem on the back side because you want this to lay flat on top of your flat wire. You're going to place it down and you want to leave a little bit on the end of your flat wire because you're going to attach both ends together once you get it around your dog's neck. So you want to make sure it's on there good and steady. You're going to come back through and just continue this. You could do it all the same color. You can alternate the colors, which I'm going to alternate, bringing in a little bit more of this deeper orange hue. But first, I'm going to go through and do all of these by color. This is a really quick, simple, effective way to make a dog color. So now we're going to use our orange. Just simply clip off a few. I wouldn't prepare this too early. I would probably recommend doing it either the night before or even the morning before if time allows. Let them sit out into room temperature and open up really nice and beautiful for you just like this. You can always count on Mayish to send you some of the healthiest ranunculus I've seen in the market. Gonna apply this one on this side. So you can see we've begun. We've got our alternating colors. Gonna add this last one right here to the end. My stem's a little bit too long, so you wanna make sure you get it right down and get it very flat to your petals. We're gonna stick it on just like that. And now that we've got all of our ranunculus in place for our dog collar, bring out the star of the show, next to the bride, of course and get the dog collar in place by simply just wrapping the flat wire around the dog's neck and simply connecting the two U-glued ends. And you might want to have a ranunculus ready with a little bit of U-glue on the back of it to top it off to cover up all your mechanics so it's very seamless when it gets around the dog's neck. So now let's get my star of the show, my little Cocker Spaniel Jasper out to be our model. This is a great upsell to a wedding with a couple who loves their animals. 
I love Jasper, and every now and then we get to play a little dress up. You want a treat? How about two treats? Here you go. Good boy. Good boy.